Hi Scorpio, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I am your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This is a love reading for people who are single and maybe dating people as well. Um, for all you Scorpios in the month of June. I'm going to lay three cards out here that are going to represent you Scorpio and then three cards here that are going to represent the people or the energies that are coming towards you in the month of June okay um the <laughs> I'll be honest oh I'm apologies for the onesie but it's freezing outside and I love it and you can see Tiny is sleeping bless him he's found a little tiny spot so apologies if it's noisy but you know I'm much more com more comfortable in this in this um, in this room. So um, let's get started with your reading, Scorpio. Okay. Um, it, honestly, the, the this is a month of reconciliations. You mark my words. The amount of reconciliations on the cards that I've seen so far have just been ridiculous. So for sure, check out the other you know the other videos for the people that you were um, you know you might be interested in. <laughs> I might even do more um, love readings actually in the month. Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you reckon. Okay, they're the three cards. These are yours. We'll look at yours first and then we'll look at those and then we'll clarify each column. Okay, blimey. That's all right, isn't it? You've got sun. you got the sun, babe. you got the world, babe. And then you got the tenor. <laughs> you got the tenor ones. Okay, so let's start, Scorpio. Um, this is a fabulous, isn't it, energy for the month of june for you all you singles out there for all you singles and dating scorpios out there what lovely energy first of all the sun represents um growth um warmth obviously um new life abundance you know and it is a representative of love it's representative of happiness and joy and really appreciating what you have in life it's such a beautiful card so some of you should be feeling really optimistic really confident really positive um from the beginning of what month are we in june i mean i'm in may but it's you know june so that's fabulous and look what we get as well we, get, we have a whole new world don't we? we have a whole new world um now the world comes after the death card for me so what i mean is when i've met in meditation when i've meditated and i've and I've gone through the experience of death that feeling that emotional archetype that energetic archetype of death of leaving something behind what came next was the world card what came next was that feeling of a brand new beginning a brand new start um being in a situation that you've never really been in before seeing yourself in through the eyes of someone new you know seeing yourself in a whole new way that's the world card so you're going to be going into this month feeling into june going feeling really confident okay and i just mentioned what comes after um the world what comes before the world card is death and the ten of wands is kind of it's not because it's really the ten of swords but ten of wands is kind of the minor arcana equivalent of death okay so some of you have been under a heck of a lot of strain could be related to work or an old relationship we can cut out in fact i'll clarify that now let's see what caused this um or what causes this um I mean tens are endings though and because we've got the world and we've got the sun which obviously suggests are suggestive of new beginnings it suggests that this is energy that you're going to be leaving behind um but let's just have a look um at this let's clarify this ten well okay so yeah okay so we've got the four of wands and we've got the hermit card let's start with the hermit card so the hermit card so remember this is to clarify the ten of wands in love so the you felt under strain in in love um, and it could be um a relationship that you have been in in the past and that has led you to isolate yourself and focus on other things let me just show you this that's a four of, of wands so some of you could have been or, um, in a committed relationship and you or could be in a committed relationship now um and you now it's may it's the 25th of may today is it i can't see just a second yeah 25th it's the 25th of may i've got my onesie on i love it um it's the 25th of may so some of you could be um in a relationship currently now 
and this relationship is feeling like a bit of a strain for you Scorpio potentially you know it's feeling like a bit of a burden you know you are in a secure relationship from some of you shouldn't even be watching this video it's for singles and dating um, <laughs> some of you are feeling the strain or have been feel, feeling the strain of a relationship of a committed relationship and you spend some time re reflecting on that isolating yourself you could have been physically injured as well some of you could be getting over injury um and you start a new a new beginning a new a new start a new beginning comes um you may be ready for a new beginning let's look at the energies that are around you singles and dating um scorpios right okay 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 so it's quite clear that the person or the energy that's around you um is it's quite raw isn't it isn't it if that's to say the least okay we've got the um sorry nine of wands this is someone who's defensive this is someone who is being protective of themselves this is someone who has been through some form of trauma um potentially a breakup potentially a breakup with you you know you could be very newly single and, and quite happy about it scorpio i mean look at the difference between your cards and their cards i mean i did say to you though didn't i that what comes before the world is a death so these are the cards related to the person or the people around you or the energies around you so some of you have definitely ended a relationship and it could have been a very solid a long-term relationship um you know this is suggestive of that the fact that we've got the four of, of um wands here some of you have been in a very committed long-term relationship and something's happened well you've obviously broken up some of you some of you are very newly single it you know you apply it you know yourself um i'll give two meanings for the reading though um some of you have, have, have had a shocking had, had a breakup um at the end at the beginning of june or um at the end of may uh you've been in a committed relationship with someone scorpio and that relationship's come to an end and that's left you feeling like this it's left excuse me not you the other person feeling like this potentially you know feeling on guard feeling sh not surprised um because if we've got if you have death it means that the process the road to get to death is a long one so you don't get to the transformation without um without knowing that it's coming if that makes sense you knew that it was difficult you knew the relationship was difficult you knew the relationship was hard you knew it maybe wasn't going in the in the direction that you wanted it to go in and so then you broke up i can't tell it feels like you were the one scorpio that ended the relationship because it's a, it's it, it came as a tower for the person or the energies around you okay um it's suggestive to me that you've spent some time and, and some of you are going to be ending a relationship um and you're you are happy about it um you are happy about it scorpio because these are your cards you know we've got the sun and we've got the world card um because you felt this this relationship was a burden you know maybe financially you were the one taking the brunt of the of the relationship uh maybe um you were doing all the work you were putting all the energy and effort in maybe your, your partner or your spouse was un unemployed or maybe sick um you know maybe one of you's been sick for for quite some time and it's been quite a strain it's been quite difficult um and you decide have decided to leave the relationship you know you just make that decision you know at the beginning at the end of may or at the beginning of june or at some point in june or this this is something that you're thinking about doing and uh, making this um making this choice you know these are the cards that wanted to come out and although i've said that this is a single um a reading for singles it's obviously if if, if you're watching this and it resonates with you you're obviously think either thinking about um ending your relationship scorpio or you've just ended your relationship and you're looking for some some sort of clarity and some news you know honestly you're feeling good about it to be fair they can come out anywhere so it could be vice versa so you apply it out how you know you know what's going on in your life scorpio um i might do another reading for scorpio after I've, after i've finished all the readings because this is obviously quite specific to somebody you know that the feeling that, that we're left with um for the person that's around you you know is obviously quite they're obviously quite traumatized by this or 
some of you could be starting a new relationship um wanting to start a new relationship in um june scorpio and the person that you're going to meet on that's going to come come around you is going to be someone who's out of a relationship someone who has just ended a relationship okay let's have a look um quickly at this energy and then i'll just clarify each of the columns okay um i want to stick to about 15 minutes uh let's clarify this one okay so this person has just come out of a relationship uh but it looks like either they were treated unfairly okay um it looks tiny give up dog uh they were treated unfairly potentially okay um by the person they they were in a relationship with you know this is the five of swords so obviously it's you know what it's about manipulation you know mis mistruths untruths um manipulation suggestive of and it's a change so you know the person that you're coming that's around you or energy that's around you is of that energy but they get justice so maybe meeting you is justice maybe falling in love with you is justice you know this feels though like it's it's the same relationship i'm afraid you know i, I tried to do it for singles and this wanted to come out scorpio you're obviously feeling very happy to, to let this strain down but it's clear that you were in a relationship um you have been in a relationship um with somebody some of you or the person that, the people that this is resonating for and you are newly single and you are really happy to be in that situation okay i'm just going to pull now finally just a card to clarify each of these columns for us okay that just gives us a bit more information um it, it's really the outcomes really that we can look at or the underlying challenges that's what it's going to be let's call it hopes and fears okay 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 so it's quite obvious isn't it some of you have been doing this you've had two options potentially two options in love two different people that you've been choosing from and you've clearly made a decision okay you clearly make a decision so some of you are very newly single or you're the reason you're watching this video is because you're thinking quite um seriously about ending the relationship that you're in some of you do end the relationship that, you, that you're in even if you don't go towards somebody else you are ready to leave this relationship it's very clear um but you're weighing that up maybe in june you're weighing it up in june um or they're weighing it up to finish with you scorpio could be but as i said it doesn't feel like it because these came out with your cards we then have look at these cards beautiful we've got the ten of pentacles okay so we all know what that card means that's about financial abundance that's about um security it's about a long-term relationship a long-term long-term commitments marriage basically things that are long-term go on so you know that's what we've, we we get there and we next finally get the ace of cups which is emotional a new emotional beginning a new emotional beginning a new emotional start for us so let's look at it both ways some of you are definitely ending a relationship or someone's ending a, a relationship with you yeah there's been a lot of strain in that relationship that you've been in it's been very difficult for you it's a long-term relationship but recently whether it be someone's been ill for a long time and had time off work and you've had to carry the burden and you've basically had enough and you want to start again if that is the case for you for you it's something that you're happy about you're going to be moving off into a new world you're going to be single for the first time in a long time and you're happy about that others of you are in a relationship and it ends or it's just ended and the reason it's ended is because you want to be in another relationship with somebody else um you have there's somebody else that you are that you meet and you come together with um in june scorpio okay so there's there's two two different scenarios really but i think it's quite obvious well it's very obvious isn't it what what's going down you're very happy in the month of june in your relationships or in your singledom or in your dating life you're very content with um with what with what you have and with work with where you're going okay and it just depends you know who's going to be along for the ride with you um scorpio whether you're going to do that singly on your own doesn't look like it 
or whether you're going to move on to 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 do that with somebody else um what i'm going to ask you to do scorpio is leave comments um in the box below because what i might do this is meant to be for singles and dating let me know if it resonates if it doesn't i might do another one for you um after i've uploaded these okay so just let me know in the comments okay scorpio well i hope you have fun in june anyway it's going to be either way you're coming out like this <laughs> so you either way you're happy um okay so i hope you have a fabulous june let me know um in the comment comments if you need another reading uh scorpio uh if you haven't already please subscribe so you can keep up to date with the um all the readings that i do and obviously details are below if you want a personal reading okay i have a wonderful june scorpio thank you for being here bye